First and foremost, I'd like to say congratulations to our graduates. Felicidades a todos nuestros graduados. You've not only survived your undergraduate studies at Notre Dame, you have achieved a major milestone that is an unquestionable indication of your superior intelligence, never-ending commitment, and capacity to persevere. Most importantly, we are all indebted to you for choosing Latino studies as your secondary major or minor. In these politically contentious times, this decision that you made states very clearly what values will guide you as you grow in your leadership and responsibilities in your professions, your churches, your temples and mosques, and your communities more generally. Lastly, congratulations to the parents, grandparents, and all family who are here today. Felicidades a las madres y padres, abuelas y abuelos, y todos los familiares quienes están aquí con nosotros. Graduates, would you please stand, turn around, and thank your family members with a warm, fighting Irish round of applause. <laughs> Graduates, always remember that everything, everything you will continue to accomplish is due to the values you learned from your families. Share the best of those values with the next generation. Our neighborhoods, cities, nation, and world will be better. More inclusive of differences, responsive to needs, and more socially just in the best tradition of many faiths, including our Catholic faith, if you do so. So when my time began at the University of Notre Dame, I imagined myself becoming a successful businesswoman, which is still in the cards, um, fully immersed in what Mendoza College of Business had to offer. While I appreciated my, my studies in Mendoza, I was able to discover my true passion through the Institute for Latino Studies. I was longing to bridge the gap between my cultural identity and my studies, and ILS offered me that opportunity. Through this amazing program, I've had the opportunity to reconnect to those values that are most important to me and create relationships within the South Bend community that will be long lasting. My junior year, through one of my ILS courses, I began teaching English classes at La Casa de Amistad and here in South Bend. I consider volunteering at La Casa to be one of the most valuable things I've ever participated in. Building personal relationships with my students and breaking down barriers between the Latino community and the university is something that I hope to continue to do as an alumna. My experience in ILS has been so memorable and impactful, and for it, I will be forever grateful. As I begin my consulting career and consider what the future holds, I've made the decision to pursue a PhD in Latino Studies, as well as establishing a nonprofit organization focused on promoting Latino students through educational, professional, and personal development. Thank you, ILS, for all that you have given me on this journey. In my hometown, I was not exposed to a very diverse community, but I'm so happy that Notre Dame, and in particular, my uh, Latino Studies curriculum, have allowed me to change that. In my first few years on campus, my interest in Latino communities was sparked through my participation in intriguing Spanish courses that allowed me to develop my skills in the language. Then, in my junior year, my passion for the Spanish language and for Latino cultures expanded greatly through my participation in a semester-long study abroad program in Pueblo, Mexico. There, I had the incredible opportunities fostered by my minor in Latino studies has been a defining aspect of my undergraduate experience and will help me to develop a more understanding and inclusive attitude as an aspiring physician going forward. Thank you. So I came to Notre Dame knowing that I wanted to study two things for sure, uh, finance and psychology. These two fields have always interested me. Uh, I stuck with my finance major and it's truly the field that I wanted to be in from the time I started looking at colleges. Uh, psychology on the other hand, uh, I dropped after a couple of classes when I realized I was awful at science. Um, while looking for classes to fill my newly opened schedule, I found Professor Ruiz's uh, Latinos in American Film. I really love film, and I'm Latino, so I thought it would be a great class for me. Uh, it was even better than I expected. It was my favorite class at Notre Dame by far, and at the end of the semester, Professor Ruiz handed out a flyer with more ILS classes. Uh, I'm grateful that I was able to learn so much from so many wonderful professors and that I was able to be a part of this Institute for Latino Studies. So when I first started college, I would have never imagined that my life here would turn out the way it has. 
Latinos are a growing population in the United States and we have a very strong presence and we need to learn how to better serve them by understanding our culture and the social change that we ha have actively created throughout history. I have learned to become a transformative leader and I have also um, fostered my passion for education and providing access to underserved communities. ILS has been my, my rock throughout my time here. In the times where I was struggling, either academically or personally, our professors here have always had their doors open for us to provide guidance or support or just to encourage us to keep going. And I am forever indebted to everyone that has helped me. Thank you all for helping me achieve my dreams. Thank you, Mom and Dad and all my family for being here. I am truly grateful for the opportunities I've been able to have and for being one step closer to achieving my dreams. Thank you, and again, felicidades and congratulations to the ILS class, Institute for Latino Studies class of 2019. A round of applause.